everybody. Welcome back. Hello. 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 Hey, yo. We're getting back on the trails today. Wait. I love trails. At least this one anyway. I don't know about the other ones though. Let me just make sure you both can see it. Important part. There we go. Don't worry. There okay, should be any the loading screen anymore. changed. Yeah. I think. No, yeah, this is different. From that. This is technically different. Say so Say something else. Something else. Something else. Say something longer than seven seconds. You're crackling again. Fuck! Oof. Only a little. I don't even know what the hell will be causing it, is the problem. Okay, yeah, now it's worse. What?! How about now? About you, the you same. Keep talking. Uh... Yeah, it's crackling. Also, why the fuck is the goddamn game doing that? Not everybody is seeing it, but every so often it's flashing my wallpaper. What the fuck? Weird. Oh my god. That is Okay, hold on a second. We're gonna I'm gonna see what I can do about this really quickly. Oh no. Okay, good. Am I being heard? I am being heard. All right. I'm receiving word from my co host. John. I'm receiving word from my co host that my audio is fine now and I am perfectly audible. As all things. Huzzah. Mm hmm. Let me just go ahead and move my shit a little bit closer to me. There we go. Oh, you know what it was? So there's like a 48 hertz button on this, and I have the thing outputting at 48 hertz. The problem was that the game wasn't actually, is that I wasn't actually, I didn't have the button on to give the appropriate amount of juice. So I think it was, it was having a bit of a fit. Speaking of having a fit, it wasn't I, juicing. I don't know why, but on my end, the game keeps flashing my background. Was well, it because of fucking, hold on, is it because of goddamn wallpaper engine? Hold on, let me see if that has anything to do with it. Oh, you need a whole engine to run your wallpaper? Nah, this is a silly thing. Okay, what if I pause? Will that do anything? Okay, pausing it fixed it. Good to know. I thought I had fix. I thought I had pause whenever there was an on. Whenever there was a full screen application, I guess it just. Nope. All right, never mind. It's doing it again. See, it's really weird because on the capture, it's not happening. It's only happening on here. Hmm. You gotta understand, I'm getting, like, I this is, I know this isn't a problem for you guys, but I'm getting flashbanged. It is strange how it goes. Hmm. 
Here, what if I do full screen instead of borderless? Oh, okay, nope. The thing that fucks me up is that it's just trails. No other game is doing this. Okay, it's not doing it anymore when I'm in windowed mode. Okay, hold on a second. What if I do it when I'm out of windowed mode? Or what if I do it when I'm... What happens when I'm playing the game? My controller is fucking connecting to my PC. Oh my god. Why does I hit continue? Maybe that'll fix it. Nope. Kicks in even when I'm not fucking... Even when I'm fucking... <laughs> it's kicking in even when I'm not... Oh my god. Hold on a second. Game flashing my background. Is my are my graphics drivers fucked up? Is that why? You need to reinstall your. Did you forget to install your? I installed my most whatever. recent gra graphics driver. Hmm. Hold on a second. Background disturbance has been playing a game in full screen. No, that's not it. I turned off always on top. Hmm. Okay, let me try that then. So, Windows, Control T. Okay. It's so weird because none of my other games does do this. Is it going to start flashing? Huh. Did that fix it? I didn't even do anything this time. Hold on. Here. Switch back over to game screen. Oh my god. Did you figure it out? Did you figure out what was causing that? Wait, oh, don't fucking tell me. Wait, what happens when I go back to the BRB screen? It's just the fucking capture causing it. Oh my god. Okay, wait, what happens if I stream it to you guys? Oh my mm -hmm. god! It's happening whenever my fucking- whenever it's trying to capture my goddamn desktop. What? You got uh, It does shitting. absolutely nothing like it on stream. Uh, we don't see anything. Or, uh, yeah, no, on no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, that doesn't happen. It's just that it only happens to me. Like, I get flashbanged and the game becomes unplayable. Is the problem. Hold on a second. Okay. Screen flicker when streaming certain games. Huh. Because it's displaying the wrong ref... What is it? Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Is it because it's at the wrong... Fr oh, wait a minute. Here, what if I put the... What if I put the preview on a different... Okay, well, let me try that. Let me check this. Because I'm wondering, it might just be that it's displaying at the wrong... Refresh rate, maybe? That seems to be fine. This all seems to be fine. Hmm... Okay, let me try previewing it for you guys again. No way. What? Hold on. Hold on. Should we keep holding on? No, wait a minute, because, like, I just moved... Hold on, what happens if I fucking... Let me try something really quickly. Okay. Turn it on turn on the stream for the people at home. It's not flashing. What happens when I put it on on a, what happens when I put the preview on a larger screen? Oh that explains it. Jesus. Alright. That's what was well, causing what it. What was it though? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, well, I mean, I, I, so I moved and I'm using, I'm using my TV. Like I have a, I have a larger, I have a slightly larger 4k TV that I'm using as a third, as a tertiary monitor. And I was like, okay, I'll use this to monitor my stream setup. So I put it on there. Turns out that the, oh, oh my God, it's still happening. What? Is it because I have, is it because I have the fucking thing on your guys' bit too? Here, let me just get everything off of that screen. Yeah, no, it stopped completely now. Huh. Huh, it must be- All oh, right. What the fuck? Okay, never mind, it's happening again. God damn it. What if I disable the- What if I disable the third screen? Will that- Will that fix it, maybe? Hmm. Wait, let me- What if I just make the- What if I just change the display resolution? Because there's a pretty big discrepancy between uh, the sizes. Maybe that'll fix it. Okay, I think that might have been it. Here, let me see what happens if I move it back over here. And then I do this. All right. Okay, that was it. All right, it was because one of my monitors had like a way higher resolution than the other than the other two. It was just a resolution issue because it's staying pretty steady right now. Alrighty then. All right, apologies for the thirty minutes of uh of technical issues. This should be resolved going forward. All right, you've done it. We've, We've killed the fucking full issues. In fact, cracked the fucking code. All right. We have to go stop a terrorist plot. Or no, we had to stop two random rich guys from fucking ruining everything for everyone. Huh? Wow. <laughs> that happened last night as well. I went inside the underground waterway back in the city. This can only mean, that can only mean one thing then. Right, this might just give us the chance we've been looking for. Obviously, rescuing Shahina and uh, Marielle comes first, no questions asked. But we should make sure we're prepared for anything, just in case. Yes, I think that's an apt assessment. -na 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 -na. There they are! Shahina, Marielle! Eggman's robots. <laughs> How does she keep getting involved in this shit? 
We sure did. Sorry to keep you two waiting. I'm so glad you're both okay. Hold on, just a minute. We're going to... Hold up, what the hell is that thing? Huh? What are you guys doing here? Tired to come join the party, have you? Fine with me. Come on over and let's have some fun, man. Something's definitely wrong with these bozos. I'm thinking of this weird aura, like they're being infested by something. What the hell? They sure don't look like zombie puppets to me. Incoming attack. Beware. Rah! All these fucking bitches and their mind control nonsense, I swear to god. It's happening. Mm hmm It's yellow this time, though. Mm hmm Piss power. <laughs> they do seem like pretty pissy guys, to be honest. Who up, who up pissing? Make sure you're pissing a healthy amount every day. If you're not doing it at all, I mean, that's a pretty bad amount. Mm hmm Ah. Uh, you're in. I think now's a great time for a shard boost, personally. I don't know about you guys. Oh, yeah, Myriad Slash doesn't have any, like, particular nonsense associated with it. I'll just do a big one. There we go. Cypher, activate. You know, I don't get why they're, like, doing this shit on the, on the general populace. Wouldn't it be smarter to, like, mind control, like, somebody, like, wealthy or physically powerful? Like, I, I'm still not quite sure what their goal is. I just thought they were shitty foreigners being shitty. Well, some like, of them were. Like, is it true like, what's that the, what's the overall goal of all of the mind control that's happening? I guess. Counter. Like, why are they? Why are they trying to get these these movie stars? Is that who these people are? I think, like, I'm guessing, like, the movie stars is one thing, but these are just like random. These are just random shitty tourists. <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay. Chill. Ow, my life. It's time for a shard boost. Oh, this is a, this is a shard a, boost. That's a buffing skill. I thought you said Mr. Aardvark for a second. All right, we got him. All right, time for the mob to reveal their grand plan. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the angel descends. Get her ass. Fucking get her. Yeah. It's kind of your usual shit. How oh, can you be heard from all the way over there? Talking really loud. <laughs> it's taunting.
<laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> right. You killed my big sis. Can you calm down? <laughs> So why did you tell us, why did you stick around or tell any of us any of this? Uh, yeah, I killed a bunch of people you like, whatever. Mm, bye. Oh, she was one of the whores. Yeah, she's a mercenary. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> God damn, that's a white ass angel. <laughs> Looks like I've got a ways to go. You still got a ways to go. Eh? Oh, no, don't tell me he's in on this. <laughs> oh, hey, it's that guy. Mm -hmm. Of the turbulent winds. Bro, we got so much fucking money, you got no idea. Quoi? So we're going to destroy that plant, right? <laughs> But you see, I want the mind control plant. Oh. I didn't really expect that to come up. <laughs> really? I don't know, man. Van is pretty seemly for the most part.
Yeah, as far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be a lot of alkaloids in agave that do much of anything. I don't think. But this agave one's giant has... magic. Yeah, I don't really think that agave has like mind control pro properties. <laughs> it's a big magic agave. Is an agave a type of succulent? I believe so. It's it's Neat. it's like an aloe sort of. Hmm. That's right, I forgot about art. <laughs> you can't forget the arts. Important. An important. Important part of society and culture. Step into the fucking ring. Oh no, they also have the magic shit too. That's a lot more powerful than I was expecting. Tatsumaki. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Oh, they did like roughly the same damage as us, actually. That means you have a numbers advantage. Mm-hmm. I will I will solo out his fucking minion first. And then I will grind him under my heel. <laughs> okay, let me heal first. Uh do you have any fun abilities right now? Back attack bonus? That's right here, we're singling her out. Hmm. Personally, I'm thinking a I'm thinking player squall actually, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Ramsey slash Jesus Christ, okay. What? The seven chaos emeralds! The chaos emerald Oh, they kinda suck. <laughs> that didn't do that much damage, actually. I like how all of his attacks are big and phenomenal and don't do shit for damage. I mean that that wasn't that wasn't a non-zero amount of damage, but that was still that that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. It's like that one fucking raid series in FF14, where like the first fight in the raid series has like galaxies swirling around you while the Earth blows up under your feet. Oh, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, like, the one, what the, the fuck are we doing needed. after this? Bro, stop bringing out the fucking Chaos Emeralds! <laughs> and then you, like, fight Titan again. It's like, alright. Okay, the Chaos Emeralds might be more powerful than I was anticipating. Dr. Robotnik. Okay, so what's the relationship between the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emerald? The Master Emerald is the progenitor of all the other Emeralds, and I believe the Chaos Emeralds both power and are powered by the Master Emerald. Okay, this might be a fight we have to lose. Is that, why, like... is that why they keep trying to steal the Master... Master Emerald. I'm gonna be honest, the Master Emerald, like, stopped being a plot point after Sonic Adventure. Bro? What?! Oh, <laughs> did it, what did that? What did that it do? That it what? is a counter to the Chaos Emeralds, the only force in the uh... universe possessing an ability to nullify and control their energies, which is usually why it gets blown up all the time. So that way, the Chaos Emeralds are a threat whatsoever. Also, it breaks apart really easily. 
Right, then you have to use to get... a sharpness to get an upper hand. Uh, we need to get fucking here. Let's let's get let's get her back up. I need someone to do something cool other than her. <laughs> Okay, you see, that's a relatively normal attack. <laughs> okay, good. We have a fucking we have a special move we can do. All right, let's get Radiant Seeker in there. Okay, well that did. Oh my god, they have so much fucking health. Oh no. Um, here. Use the revive. Use a revival on Van, I guess. Get get bitch boy back up. We got it. We got to get his hat in the fucking ring. Uh, Van, now you're gonna move a little bit over to the place where he can't hurt you, and we're gonna get fucking Aaron up. And hope to God that Aaron doesn't immediately die from the seven chaos emeralds. Aaron immediately died from the Umber Cracker. Uh, use another fucking revival bomb on him. Oh great, his fucking assistant's going next. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Uh, give Aaron the samosa bites, I guess. Mmm, I'm so full of samosa. Bro, I need you to stop casting spells. I'm begging you. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, can I escape? Uh, kind of. Uh. Here. You know what? I'm gonna... I can't... I'm gonna do quick. So that way these two can hurry up a little bit. <laughs> okay, he's doing Tyrant Storm again. Okay, she's on yes is dead again. Uh, I'm running out of fucking revival bombs, and I don't think she's got that shit on her fucking thing. Stop doing Ramsey slash. Okay, good. It missed her. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna step out of the way here. Uh, let's go ahead and hit her with a revival bomb. Poggers. Alrighty then, let's get everybody out of the damage radius, and then everybody is gonna eat some fucking citrus tea and samosa bites. Alright, way. Yeah, alright, start handing out the tea. We need you to start spilling the tea, sis. <laughs> Ah oh, shit. Oh my god. Damn. Okay, so I'm starting to see the problem with everybody being grouped together. Of course he's doing whatever this is. I think it just puts her back at the top of the turn order. Or no, or something. <laughs> it's unclear. Know. Wait, what? Oh, I have a damage. Oh, I what have a an mysterious AOE. attack. I have an AoE marker on me, I think. Yeah, I do fucking vandalize raid. Okay, alright. Okay, she's dipping out? Alright, sure. <laughs> okay, I have one more revival bomb. Actually, never mind. She's gonna go like she's she's gonna fucking eat it immediately. Uh I'm gonna give this to I'm gonna give this to him so he doesn't fucking eat shit and die. Stop with the fucking tyrant storms. Alright, he's using the gemstones again. The seven chaos emeralds. Oh my god. Okay, I think I, if I can... Can I stun him if I work hard enough? I don't know, can you? Let's try. It missed. I'm... Oh my god. Please. Yeah, but on I'm... the other hand, seven shams. <laughs> I am begging you to put away the fairy. <laughs> oh, that's cool. When everyone dies, your guy on the bench gets tagged in. Oh, no. Is that a doing some, something 
Yeah, okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. It's two days to work right here. Take a look at it tonight. Yeah, I'll look at it. Don't worry. Uh, Thank you, Mom. Uh, let's see. Side attack bonus. Stun! Okay, we convinced him. Jesus Christ! Oh, thank God, this isn't one of those fucking games that makes you lose all- makes you lose all your fucking HP when you lose. Or when someone dies. I've always hated that shit. <laughs> if I had known that was the case, I wish- I, I probably wouldn't have used all my fucking consumable items. Jesus Christ! Dingo! <laughs> you will be the baby, baby. There's a lot of trouble. You don't care if we bring them in? Oh, you must be the bracers from Airbonia. Did you respond to Dingo's call for help? Yep. Luckily, I just got in town a little while ago. Seems like I might have gotten here a bit late, though. Nah, don't sweat it. Your timing was perfect. So you say, but I would have liked to see those deaths of yours a little more, as it were. Especially when it comes to those mysterious objects and that curious figure you like to adopt. How do you know about that? <laughs> so you're interested in all that, were you? I can understand how that looks how that how that looks suspicious, but trust me, he's more than legit enough to make up for it. Anyway, the police should be here any minute. Do you mind if we take it from here? Not at all. In fact, that's what I expected. Also, Neji, if you would. Yes, your highness. Allow me to, uh, to offer you both this water. Hmm. A bottle of water? It's all been so much. Does all this mean I passed your test, then? That you do. Abrupt ending aside, I'm satisfied with your strength. Please feel free to continue working on my request, as circumstances permit. As for that plant, I would like to claim half of it. Kill can retain the remainder. Alright, I forgot all about that big guy. If you don't mind, I'd also like to retrieve a sample of it. Bro, what are you saying? <laughs> the invisible hand of the free market? <laughs> oh, I see. I, I love capitalism. Swan Gregan. <laughs> uh, not Mr. Trickle Down Economics himself. From there, Prince Sharid and Naj promptly returned to the town via his personal airship. They didn't take any of us, though. <laughs> Likewise, Van and the others also made, made their way back to Tharbad, and trust me, the kidnappers to the bracers on sight. They had to fall. <laughs> we had to run all the way back. Later, once they felt better, arrangements were made to escort Shahina and Marielle back to their home and her hotel, respectively. Dingo went with her for some fucking reason. <laughs> what? Why did they fucking announce a casting for Bartolomo already? Huh? Oh, that's right. He was there. He was there in Louch Town. I forgot about that. After that, Fee reconvened with Van and the others to exchange information. 
And that's the end of my story. Well, we could say the same about you, Sylphid. Like how you and none of that other pr n none other than the Prince of Elsam are chummy with one another. Uh, I follow you. Now that adds up. I've heard stories about him before. I see his influence hasn't waned. Musician? Who is she talking about? Anyway, what's the guild's perspective on all this, then? Not just what happened here, but everything that's gone down since Messeldam. We're <laughs> all in agreement that A is almost definitely involved in what's going on, Zinn and the others included. Even putting aside what you're looking for, the presence of that sketchy puppeteer and that angel of... Oh god, my fucking audio engine shat itself. I thought that was. There we go. Now it's better. That as well as an attempt at making it look like a case of contaminated drugs of the type of and the type of plant used to achieve that. That's what I think too. But aside from that girl and her angel, is a distinct lack of any of their presence in Tharbad. From what I can tell, none of the members or even any one of the mill gangsters are looking around. That's awful suspicious, if you ask me. Yes, it's not like what happened at Lin Langport at all. I assume Messeldam was also different? Correct. Messeldam was previously their stronghold, and we've confirmed that there were individuals there who enjoyed their support. It's very likely that, eight, that they either masqueraded as anti-immigrant forces, or at least took advantage of the terrorism to carry out what they did. Meanwhile, we've got contaminated drugs spreading beneath the surface here, with not so much as a street thug to be found. What do you make of that, Mr. Arkride? At this point, all we're doing is just spitballing and throwing ideas around, aren't we? Maybe so, but I have a theory. Hear me out. In order for contaminated drugs to flow in Tharbad, you need organized support of some sort to pull it off. If we assume that this, there really are no high-ranking members or any gangsters in the city right now, then a local business might have the power and influence to achieve that, something the size of, of Vegas films or similar. Of course, the police and guild are both also probably big enough, too. <laughs> uh, just to be clear, I'm only speaking hypothetically here. I'm not saying either of them are behind it. Oh, what am I saying? I can't believe I'm even doubting either group. So you want a bracer with a bracer right here? <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Don't be stupid. Don't, don't be sorry. Surprising as it was, size-wise, you weren't wrong. I think we can rule out the local guild on this one, though. Everyone here is really busy, and they're short on staff, that is. Likewise, the local police also need to be innocent here, even if I was a little suspicious of them myself. Is that to say you already looked into it? That's good. Takes us the trouble of doing it that ourselves. Which means that at other organizations you mentioned, there's only one suspect left. Wait, you don't mean Vegas Films, do you? I know I mentioned them, but they aren't out of the. But aren't they out of the question? I mean, it was Nina and Judith who hired us in the first place. Not to mention how much the, the prince is involved. No, we still cannot rule them out. For one thing, the act as a as actresses, neither Miss Fenley nor Miss Lanster belong to Vegas Films. Also, it is true that the, the, the principality supports the company. The relationship dates back to only the past six months. Oh. Huh. It's also worth noting that the Tharbad Film Festival is planned separately from Messeldams. In fact, right at Messeldams, which is an institution, this one had a lot of lot less notoriety going at, going for it at first. It's only once Messeldams Festival got canned that Tharbad stock rose a lot the last two months. Which does make sense when you think about how Calvard is going through a real motion picture boom. When there's one big film festival a year, it's only natural for movie buffs to gravitate towards it, no matter where it is. And when you're the company putting the whole thing on, you come away from the situation a winner. Hey, Dingus, how's it going? Oh, hi, Dingus. Hey, Donkle. <laughs> how's Marielle doing? How's Mario doing? <laughs> I mean, like, so not to, not to, not to say that she's a weak constitution, but like, all she did was get picked up, put in a car, sat in a car for a couple of hours, was dragged into a cave, and then just sat there, and nothing happened. <laughs> I mean, I guess like the whole process is a bit like exhausting mentally, but like other than that, she just she was just picked up and placed in certain locations. <laughs> I'll cut to the chase. The suspicious. The suspicions surrounding Vegas films don't stop at the film festival. 
the rumblings they poured huge sums of dark money into Tharbad's political and financial circles. It's dark money. <laughs> it's the evil money. <laughs> like when they set up their HQ, and that money is supposedly going through less than legal channels. I mean, I guess that's why it's dark money. <laughs> hmm. That's some serious dirt you've dug up. I tell you about the evidence to back that up. Basically, I'm 99% of the way there. Looking to a number of syndicates, both big and small, including Hiwe, and all of them came back negative. All of them, that is, except for one. Almada. Well, that settles this debate. You're just as intrepid as the reporters I heard. Well, thank you. I've heard good things about you too, Miss Sylphied. I have played all 10 of these fucking games. I'm sorry, 12 of the. I'm sorry, 15 of these games. <laughs> Thir 14? I don't know. Indeed, I'm gonna think it would be a good How many of these are there? There are so many fucking Trails games. <laughs> yeah, I guess their best interest to put their own film festival on Jeopardy. Hmm. The phone! Hey, Judith. Oh no, it's a fairy and. Oh, okay, what's going on? How? Is the phone, like, clocking in everybody in the immediate area? What's the yes. thing do? Yeah, what's got your feathers ruffled? I'm guessing you got Shaheen at home already? Where are you now? Oh, don't tell me they're doing something illegal. Oh, no. What? She what? You what? <laughs> Sara. Oh, Shahina, it'll be okay. You're gonna be loud. Mm hmm. Like after a certain period of time, like say tonight, mm -hmm. you wanna cut the Wi Fi. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to be loud. I know, but the thing is, I, I gotta work, your mother's gotta work. I know, I know. The last time I saw her when we, when we were on break during our last rehearsal, she went to use the restroom and then never came back. I was getting pretty worried about how much time she was taking, so I checked with one of the guards. If I'd seen anybody like that, I'm confident I would have noticed. I checked every floor and I couldn't find her anywhere. As far as I can tell, there are no signs she left through a side exit either. I'm only asking us to make sure, but... Your sister wasn't complaining about being in the parade or anything, was she? No, absolutely not. There's no way she would bail out of it. Yeah, she was absolutely fired up about it. Definitely. I mean, hell, I was getting, I was, it was getting us amped up too. Her mood was infectious. Not to mention, she has such tremendous talent. Dancing might not be my thing, but even I could feel it. That's because I had an eye for these things. They don't lie. That girl is a tremendous asset to the cavalcade. Not to mention, she's a professional. I just can't see you getting cold feet over something like this all of a sudden. All right, if you guys are sure. Sorry for asking. I didn't mean to offend ever anyone. I know you're just doing what you need to. Anyway, seeing as we're talking about a civilian going missing, I'm going to have to get the guild involved. Everyone okay with that? Absolutely. We appreciate you helping us. I'll pay any amount. Mira is no object. Let's do whatever you have to do in order to find that girl. My parade isn't complete without her, understand? What about you guys? What are you gonna do? Like you need to ask? She's a client we swear to protect. There, there's only one thing for us to do. Although we might ask for a free dance later to make it worth our while sound good. Van, that's kind of weird, but thank you. We'll figure it out somehow. Don't do anything reckless while we're gone. Got, got it. I don't know what you're talking about. Mind your own business. Alright, I'm gonna fill in the others at the guild branch. Also find out what's going on with the police. I'll pretty much be doing the same thing. Hitting up sources in various places. I'll be sure to let Bermati know what's going on too. That'd be great. Thanks, you two. What was all this racket? The festival's nearly here. What could have possibly happened to cause such chaos? What? You haven't heard? That girl has got it yesterday, Sarah, and she disappeared. No one knows where she went. Oh, is that so? We have to act. 
Get the company into gear and start throwing out everything we've got. And it takes every single employee. We've got to find Sara now. Now, now, don't you think you're being a little rash, Gotti? We're talking about a dancer. What's to do us if one over two of them run away? <laughs> okay, they're dealing drugs. This is a drug man. <laughs> Gotti probably doesn't know what's going on, though. <laughs> what? But my sister, she is... Hold on. Dylan, where the hell is this attitude coming from? This is serious. By all appearances, it's very like she didn't simply disappear. Please. Her up and proof poofing away does, does nothing to hamper our final preparation for the festival. If one or two of you went missing, it'd be another matter. But her, she's merely some extra one of us hired on a hunch. Nothing more. Are you out of your mind? How many times do I have to explain it to you? Sarah is not some extra. She's irreplaceable! She's the linchpin for all my plans! My parade isn't complete without... Enough. I'm done listening to this. As far as I'm concerned, as long as the cavalcade proceeds in some fashion or another, that's all that matters. If this woman turns up, wonderful. If not, you submit to compromise on your grand vision, Gotti. <laughs> oh, hello, Diggs BTW. Oh, you know, what's going on? Hello. Oh, hi there. What, what is that fool's problem? That was so cold. How could he... Seems to be clear to me that, he, that the walls are closing in on him. Indeed, that does seem more than li like more than a simply being the day before the festival and deciding a change of tack track is of tack is impractical. I think so too. We got the circumstantial evidence. Now we just got to figure out what the what move to make. Okay. Sure. Hep Shaheen is gonna be okay. Don't worry, she will be. She's got, she's got Judith with her. But I'm surprised. I've never seen anyone manage to be so persuasive with Mr. Gotti before. <laughs> Despite only being 15 years old, she's already a true professional. I suddenly find myself impressed. Are you sure you should have a 15-year-old as the center of your cavalcade of debauchery or whatever the fuck it's called? <laughs> I'm sure she's got, got, a, got a lot of strength from her sister. Sarah seems like a wonderful role model. Yeah, she really does. Oh, my dear sweet girl, let's let the dinner is over. But there's no way you could possibly replace your sister in my parade. But I grew up watching her dance. There's no one that understands what she does better than me. No one's gonna be as good as... You and your sister are two very different ladies. <laughs> Her dancing and sex appeal are completely her own. It's not enough to just be related and dance the same dance. You still have the same effect on the people watching. Frankly, my dear, you just aren't a good fit for this sort of parade I've got in mind. Carnal cavalcade, that's the word. Oh, she knew. Huh. The flashback. 
Yeah, this 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 happened. We just decided to flash forward a little bit too. <laughs> it's just... We're like, why though? <laughs> She's clearly earned her. Oh shit! I forgot I have the fucking auto on. Yeah, it seems like she's got a good, a good bead on Shahina's skills. She'll, she'll get her ready. <laughs> I don't believe she's been such a bumbling mess off the job. <laughs> right? I respect her a bit more now. What are you talking about? Inside joke between us. Don't worry about it. Anyway, now that for the gist of things, is this ring any bells you might have overlooked before? Maybe any doubts or suspicions you've heard of that about Vegas films? You were talking about the rumors of its relationship with the underworld and drug trafficking, right? I really don't want to believe that such a big company in my own line of work could be involved in such things. But it's true that Vegas has been expanding in a way that can't be explained just by Mr. Gotti's involvement. And yes, I've heard bits and pieces. People around the industry have a lot to say about Vegas. So, when that threatening note came in, it did feel like something bigger was going on. I'm not sure what, but it's there. Wow, I didn't realize there was such so much intrigue going on before we even arrived. If the company's the culprit behind this, there's no way that snooty president is clueless about it all. And if that's true, the man's up to his nose in drug running. At least on some level. Who knows what's up with the notes, but after that, he's got to have something with Sara going missing, right? I guess, but could a guy like him really? Nina, are you okay? Sorry, I'm okay-ish. It's all just rattling me a, more, a little bit more than normal. Like Fairy said, it's hard for me to picture Mr. Dillon doing such things. I mean, we're talking about the same man who's always getting pushed around by Mr. Gotti, including allow allowing the parade at all. Even if he were a man with more backbone, the risks involved with illicit drug smuggling are considerable. Which means you believe Mr. Dillon doesn't, or shouldn't, have the courage to arrange something so flagrantly, flagrantly illegal. Yes, I'm not trying to dismiss everything you're saying or have seen, but it's just oh, so hard to reconcile. Hmm. Be that as it may, the circumstances paint him as our most likely culprit. Even if he's normally not brave, what if, for some reason, he had a choice but to play along with such a scheme? Uh, I see what you're getting at. It's an excellent point, and perfectly plausible for criminal and elements to do something underhanded to make him comply. So wait, let me get this straight. We don't know how involved he is in whatever's going on, but you're saying that he could have been threatened into somehow helping this drug trafficking you're talking about? Yeah, maybe. That's sure how it looks. It's all but certain that Dylan used Almada's help to grow Vegas films as the juggernaut it is today, as fast as he did. The money funneled into the political and financial sectors, the murky fundraising, Messel Dimes Festival, Going Kaput, which was perfect for him. Even it seems like everything is going his way, all he's been doing is squeezing further under his benefactor's thumb. And being under Almada's thumb is sure a way to get crushed. I hadn't thought of it like that. Well, this is getting all amazingly grim. In that case, good old Dylan probably isn't going to stop at drug trafficking, and that he's being put up to do something even worse, right? Like, say, something like he go down during the film festival here. The notes you've been perceiving are... Indeed. Almada is taking advantage of the film festival to plan something in this part of the country. Caught in the middle of it, it would seem that Mr. Dillon wants to take action before something hideous happens. But he wishes to do it without quashing the festival. Simply doing that could bring the underlying conflict to the surface. Does that mean the snooty guy is behind the notes? Yes. The more I think about it, the more everything clicks into place. It adds up. Though he... Couldn't this also implicate him and Sarah disappearing when he, when she did? It sure could, which would indicate Almada didn't snatch her, 
We sure didn't advantage of her own free will. That's because Bar Dylan abducted her and took her somewhere else. Oh, there we go. Nice! You figured it out? Oh, wow. Old eco drug. Ah, oh, fuck. None of the game audio is coming through. <laughs> oh, no. I, uh, here, give me a second. Okay. It's alright, this is just a little bit of uh, it's a little bit fucked up, it's okay. When did you hold on, how the hell are you able to go over there and go back? Okay, I have an air fryer. <laughs> Run that sort of that's With this cast. fancy testing device that Van got for me after pulling some strings, that's how. It sure is a good thing I asked Van to get me that fucking plant testing device. <laughs> that would have been for nothing were it not for your knowledge of pharmacology. That's Bermotti. He never fails to impress. Oh, hush, you two. I only know a little from dabbling in it back in the day, that's all. <laughs> hey, that sounds like... Oh, of course, he's listening in on this shit, Looks too, Looks like you owe me again, Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Renee. We're all in this together. Elaine, is that... Oh, yeah, I remember you talking to someone yesterday, all suspicious-like. That explains a few things. Eh, it never hurts to have a little insurance. When I saw those idiots going nuts yesterday, I think the possibility we'd run into trouble Clearly, there. your instincts are as sharp as ever. If I'd known illicit drugs would be involved, I would have traveled to Tharbad, too. No, we're fine. <laughs> I love illicit drugs. What you're doing drugs. right now is extremely important. We can handle the situation here. That analyzer is the latest model from the How Basel many Institute people are of on Science. This phone It'll be perfectly <laughs> accurate. Don't worry. What? As for the it's turning into a group chat and how they're being distributed, we're looking into that on let our Let me end. open up Discord on my phone really quickly. <laughs> but I'm sure you already have some ideas about all that. Wait, you do? <sighs> it, really? I might, and I bet our diligent little concierge does as well. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it, Mr. Arkride? Well, aren't you two such geniuses? Yeah, something did feel off to me. I took it none of those dumbasses have mentioned anything about buying drugs so far. No, not at all. No, uh. <laughs> they said they didn't even remember taking anything like that, right? It is possible that they could have been forced to ingest it somehow? Need have been right before the film festival and distributed in a way that wouldn't catch the police or guild's attention. Hmm. If I need to pull that off, it would it would have been. Mixing it into a consumable. They're putting it in the fucking churros! Oh, they're putting it in the hookahs! <laughs> Wait, what about Not those the new churros. What about those new orbal hookahs that seem so popular recently? Come think of it, the men who kidnapped Shahina and Mir Marielle had them. What if those drugs were mixed into the vapor ingredients of the hookahs? What? They, they poison the vape! Oh, interesting hypothesis. I can't believe how, like, thorough this is. We're just having, like, 30 minutes of fucking Umineko-esque detective talk. Where we're just discerning everything based off of, like, three clues. <laughs> Not just interesting. I think you got it in one. Consequently, here's the plot for the rest of the game. There's just a wall of text that appears on the screen for five seconds. They can get the CID and Gilda step in. The festival's enough trouble as it is. If you help a kick Anything to help it kick off more smoothly is worth it at this point, I think. Earn two SP <laughs> for all of that. <laughs> Orville Hookahs have exploded in popularity in Tharbad in recent days, particularly within the entertainment district. Easily obtainable by curious members of the public, the, perif the paraphernalia was sold by numerous vendors throughout the city. Damn, everybody is hidden up that fucking vape! Oh my god. 
Further testing by Ramadi and company confirmed that the substances smoked in them was indeed an illicit, the illicit drug in question. Okay, wait, we're, <laughs> we're not even doing any of this. We're just watching a visual novel happen. Shahina is still missing. <laughs> Watching someone else figure out the problem, and then deal with it. And then Shahina came back. Can you tell this is where we started running out of budget? <laughs> In response, the Gelden local police started to confiscate the devices in secret. I mean, that's, I feel like it's kind of hard to do in secret, you know? Also, like, was it in the hookahs in question? Or were they were they being sold in the, the vape? The CIDs helped the sales of the hookahs throughout the city were put to a halt in short order. And there, Van and the others returned to the inn to take a brief break before getting back to business. Getting in touch with some of their collaborators, the group took off for Vegas Films once more. October, that all took place in the span of four hours. <laughs> Guess there was kind of a commotion over at the bazaar. Granted, that was kind of the point, but still. Eventually, the hookahs could all be confiscated before any more damage could be done. At this stage, we've laid down the groundwork and gathered the evidence. For now, the guild and the cops are simply going to be monitoring things. We're gonna act, now's our chance. Indeed, there is no time like the presence. Let us proceed to Vegas Films. I'll be checking with Shahina and see how she's doing. Oh, not not Shahina. Sh Shaznaya, I think it is? I forget. How's she doing while we're at it? Why am I fairy? Very well. Oh yeah, because Van fucking died. Yeah, remember. Mhm. Mm I, I remember Van fucking dying. Back, back to the back to the list. Looks like this area is brimming with activity too. Yes, the guild and police are clearly on top of things. Don't be shy. Take a look. All right, prepare as much as we can for this. We want to do is closing our suspect and path. We're ready. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna save it really quickly so that way we can actually we can we can make sure that we don't have to fucking read all that again. Like between start, yeah, no, like between starting and this, it's about an hour. Jesus Christ. I am. Um... <laughs> Enter Vegas Films. Enter Sony Vegas. Van and company entered the lobby where they found Nina waiting for them. Making some arrangements with them, but they headed to the studio where Shakina and Judith were training. And then got attacked and killed. Ha! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you guys think? Do you like you like it? That was awesome. I don't even know how to explain it. That was crazy cool. <laughs> Yeah, it had a usual carefree energy, but something about it felt a bit more refined, too. I liked it. Yeah, you're putting your own spin on it. That's different from your, different from your sister. Good on you. What's the verdict? Think she'll be ready in time? <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. She will be. We still have plenty of time to fine-tune things to fit her with parade. And all the time we can all the time we can get. She's good, but she's still not quali quite a match for Sara. Give me the rest of the night and I'll whip her into shape for my name is Salvatore Gotti. Man, I'm gonna be real. I don't even- why do we even need a parade of women running around and dancing? Like, you're doing a film festival. Cause <laughs> he's <laughs> weird. Cause he's- cause he's quirky. Cause he's quirky. I'm counting on you, Mr. Gotti. With your help, I can do this! And then she gets kidnapped again. I just hope my sister- never mind, I trust you guys. I know you'll do great. Hey, Mr. Gotti, I'm ready to learn the next part. Fabulous. Let's get back to work. So that when things loop back around... Things sure have taken an interesting turn around here, haven't they? Especially when it comes to those Orbal hookahs and how they managed to get so popular. Definitely. Luckily we were able to put the screws on the distributor and get evidence out of them, too. <laughs> Man, you're like, you're like a freelance detective at this point. <laughs> We work on the edge of legality, which is why we work exclusively with the cops and the CIA. <laughs> the new drug busts. <laughs> Just fucking put on ready or not for like five seconds. 
We've been blasting our, our sample units all over town under the pretext we could get campaigns commemorating the festival. Again, how do you put out a, a hookah sample? They're meant to be reusable. <laughs> Those are the signs they made at the city without being expected by proper authorities beforehand. Um, well, yeah, if they're smuggling them in, it's going to be real easy to get a p to hand them around. Also, I feel like I feel like the authority would be like, "Hey, wait a minute! How did all these hookahs get here? We didn't approve these." <laughs> yeah, but otherwise he's but he's otherwise got guilty written all over him. They're never that pompous ass thinking can get away with this. Keep in mind, guilty, obviously. Keep in mind, the big chief acted on his own. I guess Gotti completely, Gotti's completely in the dark about everything. But now just keep Shahina and Gotti focused on the task at hand. No job to worry about Zara. We're gonna do everything we can to bring her back. Your Honor, League of Legends. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Your Honor, Salvatore Gotti. <laughs> yeah, I know. All we can do is trust you. You think she's really somewhere in this building? Based on what the cops and Gilda figured out, there's no evidence that she ever left. Pretty much rules out any other place she could be. This one covered more information thanks to Mr. Brad and the CID. According to them, there are discrepancies between the construction declaration filed a year ago and the construction firm's own paperwork. There are secret fucking rooms in the movie studio! So, so does this imply Gotti's running this? No, I mean, like, he's just a director. Like, I think he's just hired on by the I company. Guess, well, no, I guess President Dylan. Does President Dylan run the company? I mean, as far as we know, Almada just owns, like, all facets of, of the fucking... <laughs> They're in the government, it's, the movies, the drugs. It's unclear who's behind it, I think. I think they're trying to, like, keep things a bit vague, so that way when it's like, it's all actually Almada behind all of it, you're like, yeah, we saw that coming. <laughs> You're like, what? But then you're actually, maybe you fucking, you already fucking figured that out five hours ago. Said discrepancies appear to indicate that this building contains an entire additional floor that isn't officially covered. Literally, how do you hide an entire floor? Like, uh, 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 unless it's a, unless it's a fucking Like in the basement? basement? Like a sub-basement? Yeah, like it's gotta be a sub-basement because otherwise it's like, hey, wait a minute, why isn't there a button for this floor? <laughs> Like, we pass by it, but nobody knows how to get into it. How does it skip a number, huh? <laughs> it's like it contains some sort of security that only Dylan can get past as the company president. If Sarah's anywhere in here, she's probably on that floor. Dylan. But if we can create the right kind of diversion, he'll show us what he's really all about. Nina is helping to pinpoint which terminal he used to get to the place right now. Can we, like, go and, like, intimidate him or something? Everybody's just doing things without anything actually happening. <laughs> Judith, come over here. I need to help someone deciding something. Which of these dance patterns looks better? All right, just a second. You're looking for Terminal A, too. If you're going to attempt anything, that's the one you want. Oh, damn, okay. Uh? Did she just... Sounds like somebody was gonna act on her own if we didn't. You guys! Terminal Sorry, A2! <laughs> I managed to find a handful of terminals that can be accessed. The only problem is, they're not the right security level, so I'm not sure which would be the easiest to use to break it. No worries, we already got it figured out. Yes, could you please take us to Terminal A2? Okay, which one of us is a master hacker? <laughs> Damn it! I didn't expect the authorities to crack down on the Orbal Hookus. Oh, this okay, is the so end, is okay, yeah, no, 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 Hookus. not yet. Hookus. They can't have found any evidence that points to me. Uh... We've uh, just fucking paid over in vain. <laughs> Opening of Columbo episode <laughs> levels of I'm Ow, so like... guilty. <laughs> They just like actually, hit. I cannot wait for them to fucking pan over to the, left the same and, amount of mustache and too. man and his fucking. Cur oh, a lot of Columbo. Oh. I guess it was the time. But case, a lot of Columbo villains had that mustache to keep those people away. No, that won't work. Damn it! Damn it! Where did I go wrong? I. How did I end up like this? 
No, no, enough moping. I just need Please to focus on getting through the film festival. Bam the Once door I manage down. that, I can call in down. a favor with the ruling party and <laughs> what? This is the ruling party? You're Don't fired? You know late it is. <laughs> hey, hey, you're fucked. Man, we're just calling you like, you know, you're fucked, dude. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm with security. You have a visitor waiting for you. <laughs> a visitor? Close enough. <laughs> Who could possibly want to see me at this hour? Well, you see, they say they're with the Calvardian Federal Police. And they want to speak with you directly. What? <laughs> impossible! They're already on to me? This What's entire wrong, sir? fucking Should session I let them has just been a no, do not. episode. <laughs> Especially if they don't have a warrant. J just buy me some time. I don't care what you do. Bro, where are you gonna go? The roof? Damn it, damn it! They leave me no choice. He's gonna get his mech suit or something. <laughs> gonna take his turbo drug so he can become unstoppable. <laughs> Quickly to the hydro foil. And this is actually, this is a crazy elevator, actually. Holy shit! Oh, uh, basement. Uh, yeah, okay, see that would make sense if it's a basement yeah, floor five. That only it's a secret can. sub basement. Yeah, that makes more sense. Damn, you know they we they we already got four, we already got four basements. What's one more? This one's a secret. Oh right, I should activate the security system just in case. Security system activated. I need to get rid of that evidence. Whatever it takes. He's finally on the move. <laughs> it's really a fucking stealth camo. <laughs> Wait, so we, we were all just standing and waiting in the same elevator. <laughs> the fucking the Metal Gear. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible to do this with Shark. Would you? Oh, yes, you've been here the whole time. You met somebody who, who has this tag. We have it. The same camouflage buttons Van used to catch me when we first met. Yeah. How oh, do you they not know? In, they were using you saw voice Van modulators. do it in front of you. Oh, they were using voice modulators. And voice modifications oh. now is pretty awesome too. Shards can do that too. Shards can do fucking anything, man. Holy shit. Shards can do a Shards. lot of what the plot requires them to. <laughs> it's like the Sonic Sear Driver. You know, like it, it reminds it reminds me of um that bit during like the opening of the Lego movie where they're talking about all the things that fucking all the things that like President Business's company does for the for the community. It's like, oh, you know, shards can shards are combat tools, magic abilities, uh, optical camouflage, voice voice recreation, phones. Phone. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Suck your dick. <laughs> you see, we got sex shards in this room over here. Oh God. They can indeed. This There's one sucks your dick. Room. Don't ask how. Sign. You have to sign this waiver before using it. <laughs> It's experimental, we're still working on the specifics. They can indeed, and shards can be used in a great many ways by combining them with a hollow. I'd be happy to educate you all on the specifics some other time if you have any interest on this, in the sex shard. If you'd like, though this feels a little illegal almost. It's okay, we're a military company. We can do illegal things all the time. Anyway, I can't believe this building's it's like a massive basement and is so s cyber. Like when, when it's you pretty think, cyber. Like when you think film company sub basement, I imagine. Thank goodness like, we're not in a hurry. Yeah, no. Turns out Dingo used to be on. You think in the CID's intel was right on the money? It's some kind of research facility. Why? But all I know is why. What are you Thought doing you'd here? you notice me sooner than later. <laughs> were you oh so in? Where were you? She was just hanging out on the ceiling of the elevator the whole time. This game is silly. This is she so was pulling silly. a Sam Rice. Whoa, hey. How long have you been up there? You didn't sneak Ooh, in the forest, mm -hmm. did you? All the info we got from that reporter in the CID led me here. Too bad I wasn't able to fool your boss or the concierge there. I noticed you right away when I deployed those investigative shards. Makes sense you'd be good at this kind of stealth mission, though. Even if I did find you, I'm sure we'll be expecting to. Didn't know everyone's favorite hero, Justice, was in a trespassing. Or not when there's any other option. But in this case, 
There really wasn't one. We can't afford to drag our feet when civilian lives are in danger. So, to cut to the chase? Mind if I tag along with you? Not in the least. We could use your help, Silphid. Then we're good to go. Well. Seriously? Oh, screw it. We don't have time for, to waste right now. Yes, we need to rescue Sara as soon as possible. Okay, let's get on Gaspard. We have a little extra legal police activity as a treat, <laughs> but only if you're really sure you need it. Yeah, right. I'm okay with Aaron setting this here out. Go, if, we, if, if we get to use the guest character. <laughs> I feel good as new. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deploying the Metal oh. Gear Rex. I guess. I guess we're. I guess Oops. stealth is gone. I guess we've given up on stealth. They, they did. This? They did turn on the security right system now. before we. Before we got here. Activating skill. Sure. This doesn't look far off from the D type. I won't mm -hmm. let this chance slip by. Is that the cow one? Is that the one that moves? No, the, 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 the D is the the old one from uh, Metal Gear Two. It's got a. It's got a mostly works. just. A mostly just got missiles on it. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I won't lose. I'm gonna be honest on you. You can't really do. Actually, wait a second. We got no, Azure no, Green on here. You know who's Azure Green on? Accelerate. One, two, two, three. Lift off. I was gonna say this feels this feels very like punching into work kind of a line read. Like like ma'am, ma'am, I'm just saying, you know you, you put a lot feel like a combat bark. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know, like you, you put your fucking hundred and ten percent into Morgana from Persona, why can't you do it for Sylphie? <laughs> We fought things just like them in Langport. Keen. These aren't society made, I'm guessing. They are indeed yours. security models from our life. How does she say it? Speen. Listen to me. Speen! <laughs> Wait, what? Speen. And your company sold weapons. We don't make the weapons ourselves, as that is in our company's purview. Metal Gear launches nukes? No! Our role is to connect those seeking to purchase weapons with the relevant manufacturers. What the hell? You guys are deep in it, huh? The society has a mon had a monopoly on that stuff in the Wonderworld for a pretty long while. So this isn't the first time we've had weird criminal syndicates getting involved in the main plot? Okay. Recently, Marduk's been stealing a lot of their market share and expanding above board and under the table. How many illegal weapons manufacturers are there in this goddamn world? Listen. Like, every single place we've been to, they're like, oh yeah, these guys are doing some, some criminal shit. Oh yeah, these guys are doing some criminal shit. These guys are doing some criminal shit with fucking Almada, and we're like, come on! <laughs> Give it. Can, can someone be doing something that's actually above board? No. Like, we can't criticize the system, it's just people doing shady stuff. <laughs> I guess they crack down on it better, but still. Actually, wait a second, there's like, there's like three different forms of like, organized, like, of like, organized crime stopping groups, and none of them have been able to crack down on this effectively. Still don't know, like, what the guild steal is. Are they, like, are they cops? What are they? Like we have above board mercenary, mercenary who can, who maybe does some shady things, but it's pretty much up to their discretion, discretion and the cops. <laughs> I can't say I blame you for that either. Still, whether a weapon's good or bad depends on who's using it. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I think I think weapons are just kind of bad in general. <laughs> Thinking you were aware of these things were being Correct. used here. Vegas Films is not in our client database. I suspect they were procured illicitly. The same is most likely true for the units you fought in Longport. They're all connected to Almada then, huh? So it seems, which makes their presence here further proof of Almada's involvement. Yeah, now let's get moving. We found this much riff already, it's only going to keep coming. Doesn't look like we can go through the front door. Isn't that the front door? No choice but to check out the side corridors then. 
Let's find the CEO. Yeah. Can't wait to rip off his goofy Assault ass mustache. Complete. <laughs> data now. Inserting back. Here goes. Leave it to me. Can't wait to rip off his goofy well. ass mustache. <laughs> wait, Sylphie's a lower level than us? What the fuck? We're actually a, we're actually over level. Oh my god. Looks like the gang's all here. Bang. This that is that was a fucking. So don't get caught. That was fucking DMC3 Dante. <laughs> she is doing bullet rain. Activating skin. The rainstorm. Yeah, rainstorm. That's the Boost word. Gauge limit crushed. Okay, thankfully she still has all the overpower moves and all the of a guest character, so we're good to go. <laughs> Good work, guys. We all have engaged, fully charged. To be fair, this game is this game is fairly silly just by virtue of having the, like the nice big chest. speed up mode. I eagerly await the performance. The walk fast. Also, the, the thing that you just make Combat. everything go way faster. I'm assuming her shit isn't customizable, yeah, because she's a guest character. Wait, really? Hey, look. So we can just take, take all of her shit? Yeah, take all her shit. No, we can see what she has on, but we can't edit any of it. We think we tried that before. Doesn't fucking work. Yeah, next time we probably should have bought some revives before we came down here. So you know what? We can kill it. No work, people. Oh, shit, I might not handle it. Going all in. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Actually, cancel. We can do it. Uh, of course she, of course she can do Azure 3 on frame 1. <laughs> Boost gauge, limit die. crushed. Didn't die. Wow. Oh no, you're gonna eat shit, huh? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Here I go. Activating skill. Have some more. A chance. Now, I've always been an advocate for dodge tanks, but I didn't think it'd be this literal about it. Yeah, just be careful. You picked the wrong guy to fight. Good going, Van. Good going, Van. Alright, let's see. I think right here. We can go stop at the fucking healing terminal really quickly and just take care of that. I feel good as new. Is her run cycle look like more normal and regular speed? Hungry bug motherfucker. <laughs> that is what they named that, is not. Maybe proceed with caution. Activating skill. Just to be sure. Keep going. <laughs> Don't mind me. Going all in. Activating skill. Let's go down. Come on, let's go. Down, down. Have some more. You know, I'm curious, because, like, they're, they're eventually going to reveal that her name isn't actually Claude. So, hurt. like, are they just going to, like, are all their, like, lines going to change? Are they just going to keep calling her out as Claude L? <laughs> That'd be funny. Where do you think all of their voice acting budget went? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think it helps that, I think it helps that, that Van Going just says, On you, on yes! <laughs> He never calls her by her last this'll name. This'll hurt. <laughs> I suggest we this'll hurt. Her. It's over. Now it's my turn. Going all in. <laughs> I don't think she's kidding. Hit it with a flank. There we go. Get it, Denise. That went better than okay, I anticipated. Uh, Always got okay, it yeah, it looks more percent. normal when you aren't super speeding. A little bit. What about this area? Is there anything over here? Actually, it looks like it's closer towards the exit. <laughs> oh. You gotta go to the optional area first. 
I think it's mostly the way she waves her arms around when she doesn't have her weapons out. Could use a charge attack, you know. Attacking target. You could use a charge attack, you know. Now's a good time to boost. I suggest we strike. She tried boosting. Now's a really good time to boost. Hey, yeah, could you use the shard boost? If you please, yeah. Fuck your round, she's a cardinal star boost. That's how it goes. This could get a hit in the summer. Yes, 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 Collecting data now. Looks like a nice chest. I eagerly await your performance. Go ahead. Don't leave anything oh, standing. Now's a good time to boost. Activating the skin. Boost gauge limit crush. Keep going. Hungry bug. I won't let this activating skin. A chance. Activating the skin. A chance. A chance. Let her Activating skill. Got something. Still moving though. <laughs> Treasure located. Grab this. <laughs> Treasure located. <laughs> Attacking target. Now's a good time How's to boost. This? How's about this? Proceed with caution. What does stealth mean as an ability? Like, they know How's we're here. This? I don't know what that does. Does sure. it like make like lower or just like make the enemy less likely to target that character, maybe? I'm guessing it maybe it just like triggers a stealth attack where they just get attacked. Yeah, probably right. Alright, gun. That strength in space. Now's a good time to activate and skip. A chance. This will hurt. Mr. Ultra. All you on you. I won't let this chance slip by. It's not activating skip. Now it's our move. I think I kind of. Now's a good time to boost. The back attack one. It's okay. Chance. Nice. That was great. Good going, Dan. Good going, Dan. That is the exit. We're not gonna go that way yet. Okay, so I was I I misled myself. This is actually the way to options. <laughs> This could get tricky with so many. I eagerly await your performance. Could use a charge attack, you know. Ah, Shaisa. It won't lose. Come on, let's go. Uh, let's just go ahead and use it. Whatever is about to happen will not be fun. Ow. 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 Forgive me. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe if you used a shard boost, you wouldn't be in this situation. And you'd never, get the upper hand. Never put me in a shard boost based situation. Damn, they fucking smell blood in the fucking water! Oh my god! Like how you are! Right is falling! Holy shit, she lived! What the Don't fuck? Don't need much more. Activating skill! Mr. Arkwright! This'll hurt! Blew up Arkwright. Right is falling. Current level's dangerous. Oh yeah, I bet. Uh, let's see. Um, is there anything that I can use hurt. that will fucking get me out of this nightmare? The answer is tragically no, but I can heal you. Alright, they're all gonna start shooting her now. Oh, they're gonna shoot Van, alright. DF gun. This'll hurt. 
I won't let this chance slip by. <laughs> okay, so when they are Don't clowning on us, we can actually get pretty good damage in that very least. Activating skill. Yes, I've gotten rusty. Forgive me. Oh, thank God. Now's a good time to boost. Rise and shine, small fry. You think now might be a good time to boost? Honestly, it might be a good time to boost. You think a shard boost would give you the upper hand? Get out of here. I would say there's a distinct possibility. There's a very real chance that shard boost would be advisable during this particular scenario. Go time! Black Energy action. output at maximum. Like that activated. That is. Here go. Activating skill. Aaron, I need you to solo these two fucking things. Activating Need you to fucking lock in. Aaron, Aaron's locking in. He's doing it. Oh, never mind. Oh He's <laughs> okay, is this a... Yeah, let's... Okay, thank God this game is a retry. Oh, no, it's a retry from whatever the scenario on, was. Okay, everybody's back at full health at least, so that's good. I suggest okay, we let's get down. out of the murder range. Going Actually, in. hold on a second. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, look to Brillgard. He's ripping shield. I love Sage Final Fantasy. Pretty good. This will hurt. Alright, let's see. I'm thinking an aerial This will hurt. You're the first one up here. Help me out, boss elf. Now's a good time to boost. How's about this? Well, no, here, let me see. Let's check the spell ability, yeah. actually. I won't let this chance slip by. A oh, yeah. It makes, her, it makes her, like, partially invisible so they don't fucking attack him. <laughs> don't mind me. Activating skill. A chance! You know, I don't know if I was reminded of something. I, I watched, like, I watched, like Snap Cube play a bit of the most recent Spider-Man game recently. And they, like, they, they, they called the video Peter Steals the Slime. I cannot think of a better thing to describe the symbiote. It's really funny to me. <laughs> the slime. The slime. <laughs> Here goes. I've, I've come to really enjoy the term slime as a tier of term of endearment. This will hurt. You had to do it to him, slime. <laughs> Let's go get fucking on, yes. You saved me! I won't let this chance slip by. A chance for a show of boost. Activating skill. Chance? <laughs> Mal spare, spare shard boost, my lady. <laughs> From the shard boost? A chance. Please. <laughs> it's all I ask. It's so <laughs> Just a little bit of a chance. I right now. Watch your head. Activating skill. <laughs> That's strength in space. Activating skill. <laughs> You're not Activate your skill. No, you don't. Here I go. Activate your skill. Instead of casting a shield, you guys could be casting harm on them. What should I do? We proceed with caution. Rims of light, white heat. I can see that strength and space. Now is a good time to prevent this measure than killing them dead with a fucking stand. I won't let you take your skill. There we go. I sounded the alarm now, stupid. I really need the, I really need people Stop to find upgraded. a different way to abbreviate cure points. No. And the COD points. They refuse. Deploying <laughs> shards. Use a shark. It's, a, it's the Gander lover. Activating skill plate. Radiant Seeker. Boost gauge limiter removed. Gandaluva? This will hurt. I have a Gandalova. Sure. <laughs> I, have, I have no reason to go with I mean, honestly, I can't get enough. True. If we, if we bothered to publish our fucking DMD shit, I'm sure, I'm sure Gandalova would have an amount of fan art if possible. Uh, and so far, it means that the only fan art that can be made is the amount that I can afford. I'm sure that Sim would have a very small but dedicated group of people. <laughs> Activating the 
hitting skill. One, two, three. Flip. Boost gauge limit crushed. Uh, is it activating is skill? Is there any the only like, gay pairing in the entire thing? Lift off. Yeah. I think Little Boot had sex with that crushed. guy that one time. Did he? I don't. Re I feel like I remember Robo like kissing a man at some point. <laughs> fucking converse with Robo about this. Of course, they've got the fucking agave plant. What is all this? Yeah, they're making the drug here. Yeah, they're making the drug. It's those plants found that cave. Wait. So you mean to tell me that the reason why the prince wanted it was because he Kay. wants to use it to make drugs? This must be fool fueling the hookahs. <laughs> That their healer is pretty much the smoking gun for our theories. Don't you I mean the smoking bog? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you think these pills are? Probably the enhancement drugs they've been using. What? But then. <laughs> the ruby goons. <laughs> it's just they're abusing it on a much broader scale. Yeah, I had a feeling this operation was too big to be just for messing around with the film festival. The facility must be for researching and manufacturing illegal drugs like these. Yeah, it's probably one of many two. Regardless, this is concrete proof that Vegas film is back to the development of the un of unlawful pharmaceuticals. The Lord Court of Findings on my Zifa. Thanks. Hang on, we're not supposed to be here. Isn't this isn't exactly admissible evidence. Yeah, he's uh, right. Well, it's a bit of a gray area, but there's ways of getting it to, to count. Like sending police in for something unrelated and having them find all all this in the process. <laughs> Money laundering, but for evidence, huh? Awesome. Ooh, it's a great idea. I'll remember that one. <laughs> I feel like some of us are taking the wrong lesson from all of this. Everybody forgets she's a fucking she's a fucking mercenary. <laughs> I'm so full of ambushes. Yummers. Okay, breath. There we go. Yes, eagerly awaits the performance. Could use a charge attack, you know. Boost gauge fully charged. We can win with this magic quest. Kill. Levels up. Your level means nothing in this scenario. You, once you are once you are gone from this, we will never forgive you again, probably. Now, let's finish the target. Energy element activating. Boost gauge limit crush. Uh, hit him with coin bolts. I won't let this chance slip by. Oh, coin bolts is fucking useless against these guys. Shit. My move now. Hey. Boring. Help me out, Clausel. Energy output at maximum. Activating skill. Some more. A chance. That's what Cassandra Lee Morris said when she read those lines. What should I do? What should I do? I suggest we strike now. Damn, really? Going all in. Now it's my turn. Let's get you out of the blast radius. Don't mind me. Let's, 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 let's give you out of blast radius. Get her ass. A couple ammo. Oh, Bring it on. This'll right. hurt. Side of time. That strength in space. Energy output at maximum. Yeah, just get everybody That's strength in space. That's yeah. fading skill. Now you don't. I won't have to be too skill. Mr. Activating skill. Help me out, Lossel. Oh, wait, I didn't. I said just go right now. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> You're not fading yeah. skill. That's strength in space. Yeah. Skill. I won't have to be too skill. There we go. Pachino, go. That's how it goes. Yay. Alright, open that bitch up. I hope they have strength in spade. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know that enemy's tough. The enemy looks tough. Watch out. Now it's a good time to fade and skip. Boost gauge, limit crushed. 
Do another one. <laughs> Boost gauge limiter removed. Oh, I just got the Activating right. drive. Going on. Yeah. A chance. A chance. I won't let this chance slip by. Activating skip. Boost gauge limiter unlocked. Level up. Yeah. They really went overboard with all the traps. For real. What They're such traps? a pain to deal with. That's probably I guess the enemies. Helps the CEO shake off any pursuers mm -hmm. while he makes a clean getaway. All right. Well, the main thing's fucking open now. Get the chest. Ooh, nice sepeth. Yummy. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, hey, thing. Another cutscene. Oh no, it's just more robots. Look at all those excellent <laughs> robots. Oh wow, I'm surprised I didn't get an immediate fucking up on, Oh, it's because my S my R R X push is getting fucking up here. He won't lose! Down there, Sid! Okay, now we can do handle Help me out, Plus L. May we proceed with caution. Mm. Atomic can't oh my god. <laughs> That strength and we got nuclear weapons in this bitch now? God damn. How's, How's about this? Caution. How's about this? How's about this? Pull out all the stops! Glottal stops? Engaging shield! Isn't that, a, isn't that a type of noise? A glottal stop is, uh, essentially, like, where mm -hmm. there's, like, a consonant, but you don't exactly pronounce it. it like, the T in it's Batman. So Hmm. Uh, Never actually known who was. I just heard it before. Don't mind me. Like how you are. No, not now. Damn. Okay. Engaging shield. They have a little bit of fire. I'm sorry, atomic cannons. 500 I'm atomic cannon. Forgive me. Bring it up. Stop Is that learn Sonic Chaser? Hey, look at all that. Oh my god, boxes. Whoa, they can't all be full of drugs, can they? I put good mirror on them being stuffed with exactly that. Guess we must be aware of the stuff stored until it can be shipped out. There's so much of it. You're looking at tens of millions of mirror worth of product in this room alone. I will inspect the terminal. There may be something of value on it. Looks like a list of the people buying the stuff. Indeed, covering the past half year, it appears. Most of it is encrypted, so it will take some time to extract all the detail from it. Even so, so, it's clearly a long list. Seems this drug is rather more widely distributed than we thought. Just sell this baby to Hiwei and have them take care of the dirty work for us. 
can't see us finding anything on Almada in here, though. Yeah, they're not careless enough to leave names and whatnot in the database like this. But there has to be something on them in this floor. The president wouldn't have snuck down here otherwise. Let's get back on his trail. We can't have far left to go now. Right. Wherever he is, we're bound to find Sarah, too. That looks like a nice chest. Fucking dead. Alright, let's get this bitch cleaned up. There we go. <laughs> Lock. That's all clear. Watch out for range attacks. Let's go back. Proceed with caution. Now it's my turn. A chance for shots from behind. Not for the main. Fucking got so cute looking ass. Nice. That went great. <laughs> Looks like Shall a chance. Shall I prepare some sweets for you, Mr. Arkwright? Combat. Let me with that back on. Yellow one. There, there we go. Whew. That hits the spot. All right, here. Let me fuss with my equipment really quickly, and then once we're good to go, there we'll probably just call it for the night. Then if we're we're about to fucking see a lot of cutscenes. Get the. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to sell that. I want to buy. I want to buy. There's no reason for any of that. Do you sell things that are not gun parts? I need healing items. Uh, buy items, there we go. Give me fucking... Give me shit tons of Terra Bombs. That is all my money, never mind. I'm kind of... I'm not sure what the hell I need Sepeth math mass for other than to make money. Uh... I already own a couple of these, so that's probably good. Oh, wait, no, I can just. Oh, yeah, it's like the traded menu here. Uh, I am finding here that Sepeth Mass has no purpose whatsoever. They are nuggets. You sell them for money. menu. This is the cell menu. Oh my god, I got the luxury menu. When was the last time I saved? Oh no, I just wasted so much fucking money. I just wasted so much money. When was my last save? <laughs> Are there any auto saves that I could load? No. Nothing. Okay, wait, hold up. Hold up. Uh. Okay, there was one from like. Uh, 825. These are in a non specific order? Why did they do it? Uh, 42 is what we're looking for. Uh, 45. There we go. Perfect. Oh, thank Christ. It auto-saves whenever you do these. Pray. Oh, no. Wait, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Where is the last fucking save? Where is the last save? Oh, my God. Load. Show auto-saves. Okay, maybe not that one. Okay, that's the most recent one. This is from a few minutes before. From a minute before. Okay, buy items. Whew! That hits the spot. Oh, no. 
Oh no, they're actively overriding themselves every time I fucking open up the goddamn menu. All right, fine. You know what? Here, we'll go a little bit further back. The help was much oh. appreciated. Don't forget about the attack. Ow. I'll show That's no mercy. Never mind, I have to do that Treasure later. Treasure located. Okay, good. We didn't lose any progress. This looks like a stopping point. Woo. That hits the spot. All right, I will. I will do all of that again Woo. later. That hits the spot. Woo. That hits the spot. Woo. That is the spot. Just exchange all my fucking setback mass. There we go. You know, here I'll do the orb mint stuff instead. Next boss fight next time. See you all later. Bye bye. Huzzah. Bye. Yeah. And good night.